Today, guys, we're going over the only two mods that you will ever need to completely transform your breeding and farming in Ark. Let's go ahead and start this off with how we're going to automate your breeding to save you time. And the S Plus mod has solved all of our headaches, especially when it comes to breeding, even some ways I didn't realize. Now we all know breeding starts with a perfect pair. We can bring our Rexes over to the transmutator and choose the variant of the dino we want to breed. With just a click of a button, we can turn them into their aberrant, tech, X, and R variant forms. This is very, very useful. Now, there is also my favorite, the propagator, which is meant to speed up your breeding process in a few different ways. First off, it might not allow you to put more than one male in at a time. But that one male, guys, can breed with as many females as you can fit into the machine. And as a bonus, this is a huge space saver compared to normal. Now, the second game-changing feature of this propagator, guys, is, of course, the mutation pulse. We are going to be able to spend element on our female rexes to guarantee random mutations in the eggs they lay all you have to do guys is put a number of mutations in the box next to the rex and then press start after you hit start breeding the rexes will take about two minutes to lay eggs which will spit out of the top of the machine and fall to the ground also the propagator allows you to use gestating dinos as well, giving them the ability to lay eggs. Big old golden Hesperonis eggs. Breeding is annoying, but gestating is even worse. And with this feature, guys, this makes gestating quicker than ever. And another huge space saver. Lastly, I would argue one of the worst feelings in breeding is when you get the perfect stats, but you get the wrong gender to breed them back in. Now, this is no longer a problem with just a little extra element in hand. Just go ahead and swap out the target dino you want in the propagator, and then head to the breeding screen where we're going to change the gender just by clicking the drop down menu and choosing the male gender that we're actually looking for. And now your females will continue to breed like normal, no problem. Now, moving on to the S Plus Hatchery, this will automatically pick up your fertilized eggs from the ground. And it also automatically starts incubating within a few seconds. When used with the propagator, you will be able to see all of your stats and mutations and colors and everything that you want that will help you choose the ones that you want to keep. And then to quickly get rid of the rest, I actually hatch all of the eggs that I don't want. I'll pick them up with the soul gun. Of course, this is from the Dino Storage V2 mod. Then go over to your soul terminal and put all of the dino soul balls into the terminal. Then just click clear soul balls. This is a quick and efficient way to get rid of the mess without the baby hassle. Once you have the perfectly mutated final dino, the S Plus Nanny will auto imprint your dinos. This guarantees a 100% imprint every time. It doesn't matter if the dino wants a walk or a cuddle, it will fill its imprint bar automatically. All you have to do is make sure that the Nanny has food in its inventory, and of course, make sure it is turned on before hatching your first eggs to make sure you get your 100% imprint. Now, to keep your nanny full of food and those baby dinos fully fed, you don't need to stress because the S Plus mod in combination with the Dino Storage V2 mod can automate all of your farming needs, saving you more time in the garden. Now, to start things off, guys, the Soul Terminal will solve all of our fertilizer needs. This terminal works in combination with your dinos by collecting and generating their poop just because they're stored in the terminal. This can even be taken a step further by adding dung beetles to the terminal as well. Once you have collected all of the fertilizer you can use, you can actually choose to send it directly over to your crop plots. You go to the settings wheel, choose automation, and then choose your fertilizer distribution settings from there. 
you can see the poop is now emptied from the terminal and is now placed in our crop plots. And as you can see, the carrots are automatically picked. And we do have actually a couple of options for auto harvesting. Our first option is the S plus gardener. This one is going to auto harvest your crops and hold it in its inventory for you to transfer to the fridges. It also uses preserving salt in its inventory to help preserve the crops and double the spoil timer. Our second harvesting option is the item aggregator. A little bit more fancy, but it's basically just a machine to do the same exact thing. It will harvest our crops and help keep them fresh. As you can see, guys, all of your farming and breeding worries have been taken care of. I appreciate you hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next one.